<laughs> all right. All the repairs are finally done. Thank you for your help. Without you leading the charge, we would have barely made it. Uh, you are Hoda. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we finally found out her true identity. She wasn't lying when she said she was a bloom bear. She worked as a field medic, but more importantly, she died in the lament that destroyed the port city of Guishu a few hundred years ago. In short, she couldn't be alive. Hoda is but one of us. In the Tethys system, our registered name is Necrostar. We are forever trapped on the event horizon of the Black Hole, falling into an unending darkness. Beneath the lament's wheels, we are but dust, pitiful souls, cursed to suffer dreadful eternity, denied the solace of death. My mentor, the one I follow. Please, I beg you to end this Mobius loop, this endless cycle. Welcome home. You stand on these shores once more. Welcome home. I wish to keep you from any harm. Forgive me for acting on my own accord. Hmm. Sad. Pardon me. Such emotions are not mine to show. Yes. It was I. Long ago, when you first brought the Black Shores into existence on this island, I assisted you in managing this place. You once wove the threads of this world together, but then you left, roving the boundaries between this realm and the next. You have lost far more than just your memories. Since your departure, the Tethys system has been the sole leader of the Black Shores. Most have never seen you, and that is all by your design. This place, built by your hands, holds all its resources at your disposal. You have more important matters to attend to than dealing with everyday trifles. That is why you entrusted the Tether system with the Black Shore's governance. This time, only you have the ability to end all of this completely. This is also your first step towards the future. You mean... She was indeed a bloom bearer, but mysteries still surround her and the departed. The departed, whom you saw in the port city of Guishu, caused those abnormal frequencies. Only you can mend those errors. Rest assured, I shall always be by your side, to assist you as before. I am sorry, but I must keep this secret from you. Perhaps, as you restore the Tether system, you will uncover the reasons for severing ties with your past. Wandering Traveler, Please, tell me. Are you satisfied with your journey and stories in Jinjo?
Is that so? I'm glad to hear that. The gate to the underground has been opened. Pass through it and you will reach the depths of the Black Shores. Your journey has only just begun. Beyond the Black Shores lies Solaris itself. Before you go, can I ask a favor? When all is settled, will you share your stories from Jinjo with me? She's the shorekeeper. She even showed up in person. That means I haven't seen the shorekeeper in all my time in the Black Shores. I've only heard the stories about her. If the shorekeeper is revealing herself to you, it could only mean one thing. I think you know what I mean. The gateway to the underground has been opened. I'm sure the answers lie ahead. Go on. Leave the rest to us, buddy. Opening passageways between different spaces uses the spatial properties of the sonorosphere. Thus, the Tether system can hold nearly infinite data. It is akin to a collection of sonorospheres.
this is what the Black Shores really looks like. To be exact, my body is composed of sonorospheres, and the projection you see is but a shadow of the sonoro. I cannot leave my post. As the core computational unit of the tether system, I must remain to ensure its proper functioning. Yet, I still wish to be with you. This is the only way. This place holds records of every lament across Solaris. Those that have passed, those happening now, and those yet to come. Here, a planet's lament transforms into stars that fill the sky. modulator, guide of civilizations, mastermind of the Black Shores. Before you severed ties with your past, it was indeed one of your names. Perhaps you have a preference? Me? I would call you by your true name. I have always addressed you as such, in the past and present, through countless years. That is the Necrostar, once known in ancient astronomy as a black hole. The tether system transforms data into stars observing the entire Solaris, and discarded data are cast into the Necrostar. The abnormal frequency you encountered in the port city of Guishu is part of it. Or rather, it is the Necrostar itself. Please, bring it back to the modulation hall, and I shall correct it. Then, the tether system will be restored, and harm will be no more. My only hope now is that we are not too late. Go ahead. I am always with you. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey. <laughs> it appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained underground, and the gate is now sealed. Leave it to me. Nowhere to hide. Go begins.
energy. Be gone. Nowhere to hide. You're wide open. Don't treat it from the side. Unstoppable. Stay sharp. You're safe. It's okay now. I... I heard her voice. Yes, she's here. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'm here with you now. Stay with us. The medical team will arrive any minute. I fulfilled my duty. As a member of the Black Shores. Your effort won't be wasted. We will restore everything to normal and ensure everyone's safety. Thank you. Please... stop them. We will. Have a good rest now. You've done enough. Your actions will shine bright like the stars. A beacon for all to see. An entire Necrostar was forcefully discharged into the Era Cell without warning. The Era Code spilled out as a result. At its worst, it looked a lot like virtual blood seeping through the ground. We had to seal the underground gate to protect the control room, but someone had to retrieve the key. He did what was necessary, even if it meant risking his own life. I admit, I am surprised to see the shorekeeper here. He is severely infected with abnormal frequencies. It could be fatal. It appears the Necrostar has been successfully contained underground, and the gate is now sealed. Indeed, with my abilities, you do need to worry about this. Though I am but a projection, I've been by your side all along.
our supplies. Precisely, it's the part of me that rests in my garden. I feel something different. Something I don't know how to describe. It's clear that the agent's condition is terminal. But still, I lie to him. I've done this before by imitating the you I remember from many years ago. You did what a leader must, but when I looked into your eyes, I could feel it. The emotion humans call sorrow. Maybe I should express that emotion in situations like this. Yes. You led the Black Shores with empathy, and it's my responsibility to carry it forward in your absence. But I'm currently unable to fully comprehend this feeling. I see. Well, it is our utmost priority to deal with the Necrostar to prevent further harm. The only way to achieve this is by bringing the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall and initializing it within Tethys. This Necrostar is the black hole that destroyed the port city of Guishu. When the Lament struck the city, many were unable to escape and were drawn into the black hole. The data you brought back is directly related to that event. Yes, you've questioned this approach before. That's why I aim to change it. I have the highest access to the Tether system. Bring the Necrostar to the Modulation Hall, and I'll erase its corrupted data. Once it's done, Tethys will function as it should, and no one will get hurt again. But as I mentioned, I'm only a projection without physical form. Could you assist me with this? I'm here to help and protect you, just like I always have. But this time, I will bring everything to a proper end. Of course, we have plenty of time for it. Long enough to talk about the past, the present and the future. Will you trust me? Thank you for everything you've done. Please be careful. The object contained in the center is the Necrostar. According to pre-Lament laws of physics, gravity warps the fabric of space and time. Use the portals to reach the platform. Watch out! Yeah. 
Justin. Shall whisper. Why the sounds? You're wide open. Fear no more. We're back in the right dimension now. Authorized access. Operation confirmed. Hey! Don't just eat whatever's in front of you. This looks awful. Ugh, like the worst stew ever made. This frequency. What are you staring at? It's the one. This frequency has dwelled within you for millions of years. I'll keep an eye on it. We have more important matters at hand. Uh, wait! Are you saying I'm not important here? Because you were about to gulp that hodgepodge of who knows what stuff. Go grab something normal if you're hungry. But this? Absolutely no. This thing is like a dark, spooky hole. Once you fall in, you'll never crawl back out. Precisely. This is the Necrostar, a black hole that will suck anything close to it into oblivion. That little creature is able to perceive objects by their frequency. Just as it described, the Necrostar's frequency is indeed incredibly complex. Speaking of which, are you feeling discomfort anywhere? No, I'm referring to that creature. Do you feel anything unusual when interacting with it? Hmm. That's good to know. The Necrostar Singularity has been retrieved. Let's take it to the Modulation Hall. I'll stand by you until the very end of this journey. <laughs> 